I can only be me, I don't fit in. That's Steph Curry from three point for the win. Reflect God, reflect greatness, that's the moment. Not stay real, not stay true. You know, no, 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 no. You know, no, 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 no. Hey Elk Nation, I'm Austin. And I'm Aiden. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Elk News. Unfortunately, we begin this week's newscast with another, yet another tragedy. That's right, Aiden. Sunday night there was a mass shooting in Las Vegas at an outdoor Jason Alden concert. It is the worst mass shooting in American history. The shooter was on the 32nd floor of the Mandolin Bay Hotel and Casino, shooting downward into the helpless crowd of 40,000 people. Police were able to get the shooter to the shooter within 10 minutes, but by that time over 50 people were dead and 400 injured. Obviously, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved in this senseless tragedy. In other less relevant news, McDonald's is bringing back Szechuan sauce thanks to the popular TV show Rick and Morty. This will be happening on October 7th, but hurry fast. According to McDonald's, they are in short supply and they're expected to run out fast. Also happening on October 7th, Austin will be at McDonald's for the entire day, making sure no one gets any Szechuan sauce but him, so be careful. That's right, Rick and Morty is the greatest TV show ever. It's so good, it made a major fast food company bring back a product that is mine and mine only. Calm down, Stoke with you, Austin. No one wants your weird McNugget sauce. Well, in the world of medical study, hallucination-inducing drugs, or psychedelics, have been shown to help addictions and mental illnesses. Researchers recently discovered that controlled doses of these drugs have helped patients overcome addictions like alcohol abuse. Despite these positive outcomes, it's still a very controversial subject, and you can still be charged with drug abuse. So it'll be interesting to see how policy and public opinion go on the pitch. In school later news, after a week of wackiness, homecoming is finally here. Monday, a parade was held by our band, cheerleaders, sports teams, and other extracurricular groups. The route started at Hughes Middle School and ended at the BHS parking lot by the stadium. As they marched, the BHS band played our school fight song while cheerleaders handed out candy to people watching as they passed by their houses. If you haven't asked anyone to homecoming yet, you're running out of time. Despite the fact that we don't have school tomorrow, the homecoming football game will still be here at BHS Stadium against the Joshua Owls. But you don't need a homecoming date to support our team and attend the game. Plus, no homecoming date means less of a ridiculous mum taking up space in the stands. Either way, be sure to go and support our varsity football team on their undefeated win streak. Also, be sure to support me! I'm the homecoming sophomore king after all! Austin McGay, you can stop talking about it now. Well, that's all the news this week. I'm Aiden. And I'm Austin. And, and this, this has been Elk News. Hi, I'm Terrence Patterson, and I'm bringing you Elk Sports. Our Rose and Elks football team went out to Granbury last Friday and smacked them with a score of 42 to 6. The Lady Elk volleyball team went out to Centennial last Tuesday and lost with a score of 3 to 1. They also went out Friday and lost against Granbury with a score of 3 and 0.
Yeah. You don't even have one? No. They've been around for like a week now. Yeah. I like them. I like them better than paper, so, because hey. I don't lose anything. Yeah? yeah. What about you? You like them too? They're good. I use everything for them. Oh, yeah? I just wish Netflix wasn't blocked. They're pointless. They're pointless? Yeah, they're heavy. <laughs> the combat's yeah. better. They're better than the old ones. Howdy folks and welcome to Couch Potato. I'm your host, Cole Whitehurst, and here today we have none other than our esteemed gentleman, Mr. David Daniel, Dr. Mr. Humble. Hey there, how's it going? I thought this was for, for, for Teacher of the Year, Michael. Yeah. Was it Michael? No, it's Cole. Oh, it's Cole. Okay. Oh, I thought it should be interviewed by Michael. Oh. Right, well, this is Cole. He's, he's, unav right. he's, well, un he's unavailable today. So. Okay, well my name is David. All right. Okay, uh, I'm very adamant it's about that. And, and don't call me all those other names. I go by doctor. So not coach, not mister, not interviewee, stand in for the day, but doctor. Okay? Right. Okay. okay. I, didn't bring, I didn't bring it here to yell at that. Yeah. I just thought it was Sometimes call, today. sometimes call, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, first question. So, if you, if you had a boat, what would you, what would you, what would you, what would you name that boat? I would name the boat the SS Minnow. Like I was explain something more along the lines of like, like would you want to name it like like Boo Radley or like Boo Radley? Why would I want Boo Radley? Like, because, Why not because, the Cole Whitehurst? But but that boat would always sink. Okay, I understand that. Even like you did in my class. Okay, next next ne next question. So. Uh, uh, how, how how many sides does a circle have? Sides? Yeah, like this one, is like one, it's something that I've always wondered about. A circle. Okay, so you're gonna interview me about how many sides are in a circle? Yeah. Is this a trick question? Okay. Ne ne next question. If you could change your name, what would your name be, and why why would you name yourself that? Uh, wh what would I change my name? You like if you like to change your name, like. My name is perfect. I wouldn't have to change it at all. I would Why change it. I want to change it. I mean, you already you already changed it for me. You call me Daniel. So why would you ask me that if you already changed it for me? I would like change my name to like, like, Reginald. Reginald. Why Reginald? Because it's a beautiful name. And many many people. You beautiful. mean like David? <clears throat> all right. You're right. You're right, sir. You you're, you've got it. It's Doctor. Remember? Doc. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Doctor, sir. Dr. Humble PhD. Next question. So, what was a body part that you wouldn't mind losing? Body part? Uh, well, not the body body part that's closest to you in case I have to whack you over the head when this interview is over. Yeah. Uh, probably the hand I need, well, not the hand I need to grade. So I guess uh, I could lose my left hand, actually. Yeah, I'm, uh, I would oh. probably lose my legs and my oh. arms because uh, I my past girlfriends have always said they're like the most important, like most least attractive part of my body, you know? Is this an extension of your body here? No. Well, I just gotta say, we got like a real like celebrity up in here today. Uh, this is this is Joey the Pouch Master. Jo Joey, uh, nice to have you here today. Joey. How you doing? Yeah, so, uh, mm, why do they call you the Pouch Master, Joey? Because I make pouches. That's very, that's very nice. I think we got a clip from your new movie. Let's play that. Wow, that looks really good. Well, thanks for stopping by, Joey. So, do you believe in magic? Uh, do I believe in magic? Like, yes, I do. Uh, would you, can you teach me how to do magic? Yes, I will. Okay, watch this very closely. Da 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 da
da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da da that was magic. That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. That took me years of practice, and you know where I learned that? Like how down at A and M. That's what they teach you down there. Oh, yes. I was just saying like a magic school or something. Well, it is a magic school. I haven't won much football lately, but you know, it took me long to learn this. That? Yeah. What movie or book would you like not mind being turned into a musical? Which would not mind like what classic novel? What classic novel would you like to be turned into a musical? Oh boy, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. I don't think I think there are enough classic novels made into movies. So I, I'd like something original, something, or maybe a zombie version of Gone with the Wind. Oh, ooh, that would. That? They already have Pride and Prejudice zombies. Yeah, they do. Maybe well, I think War and Peace would make a good musical. War and Peace. Because it would put everyone to. Who would star in that? Who would you have star uh, in that? Maybe uh, Taylor Lochner. Ooh, okay. Because right. she's horrible. Right. Anyway, so what? 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 Well, well. Thanks for stopping by today. That's it. Yeah, that's all I. That's all I have. I thought you were gonna have beverages. By the way, this is one of the lousiest setups I've been interviewed for. Well, you, you know, know, you're supposed to I spent all and that the budget the on this can. suit, to and then you have some guy in a green suit. In a, in a that's his skin. skin. You know, that is like a green that, bean. This is skin, Mister. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but you know, next time you need to give me a little notice, and, and don't forget, it's not Mr. It's Doctor. It's Doctor. Do you remember my first name? David. 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 Close enough. You better say goodbye. We're running over time. You know that. Yes, sir. Well, thanks for stopping by, and happy birthday. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, whatever. That's good. Yeah. All right. Good day. Good. Austin, we get it. You can stop talking about now. Anyway, here's a list of upcoming VHS events. Well, that's all the news this week. I'm Aiden. And I'm Austin. And, and this has been Up News. I've already messed up. <laughs> can okay. we, can, no, can we do the this pause? Is, this is up news. The pause is like yeah. a second long. It's, it's too short. short. Okay. No, pause is too short. No, mi yeah, I know, but we need, we need to Yeah, Mr. Red said he wants, he needs it like quick. Cause he's just gonna freeze frame it, and it's like it's done freeze framing, and we're still going here. I'll wink twice at you, and then we'll go back. Yo, what? I'll wink twice at you, <laughs> or I'll just go back when you do. <laughs> <laughs> that works. All right, all right. I'm gonna slap that mask mustache off your face. All right. Austin, we get it. Stop talking about it.